On est des barons. I think it was a very good movie. Uh, I really like it, and uh, uh, it gives a different perspective about um, the um, immigrants in uh, in Europe, which is not uh, usually seen uh, nowadays. Uh, I like the main character. I like the main character a lot. I think um, something about the parents. I, I guess something about the whole movie is that um, you know, for uh, people from different cultures living in a country that they're integrating to, you know, you can see the struggles between, you know, the, the customs, the culture, the family, and then the society itself and how they actually, um, you know, work to break through that. So it's great. It was funny too. Very funny. Yeah. Well, tonight's film uh, was, first of all, was funny. Very funny. Extremely funny. But at the same time, I felt there are a few messages that were uh, being sent. Um, first of all, it was um, describing um, the life of some new or young people in Europe, or specifically in Belgium, and um, for those that uh, didn't succeed to have a life. Period. They are like a victim of the the community because uh, they, those people they want to do something better in their life, but they didn't get a good orientation. That's that's why they. They have a bad future. Moi, je vais prendre un coca. Ici, y a rien d'américain. Ici, on boycott. Alors, je vais prendre. Qu'est-ce qui se passe avec ma sœur C'est ma sœur, putain Qu'est-ce qu'il y a Il faut la cacher ou quoi Monsieur Hassan El Kadouri, salut, bonsoir. Moi, je vais prendre un coca. Ici, y a rien d'américain. Ici, on boycott. Alors, je vais prendre un Fanta. C'est long. And um, for this film from the UAE, it's called City of Life. We have the director coming, and he's going to uh, interact with the audience. And we also have the star of that film. And um, the director is Ali Mustafa. The star is Yasin El Salman. What is intriguing about the star of the film, he is also a hip hop artist. And so when he's not acting, he's making music. He is of Iraqi origin born in the UAE and living in Canada. And we're also going to be featuring a couple of um, his shorts. He's, his stage name is The Narcissist. And we'll be featuring a couple of his shorts, but the main part of that program with The Narcissist is he's going to interact with the audience. He's going to talk about being an Arab. He's going to talk about being a hip-hop artist and living and performing in the West. He's young and he's eloquent and has a great rapport with the audience. This is our year, 2008, forget about these haters. Love by eight, God and positivity, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right, man. I was just worried it was going to be another political activist event where we're preaching to the choir, you know what I mean? Unless it's an all-girls choir. I saw your show last night, Maggie, and honestly, it was off the hook. Keep spreading the truth, for real. Thank you. Much respect, man. Thank Seven. you. Passengers for flight 911 to New York, please head to your gates. Out of mind with divisiveness. I really think that they're watching us. I ain't trying to get searched, B. Who do you think they're going to harass more, man? Me or you? Now, obviously me, Doc. You know Iraq is the new black. Yeah. C-I-A-F. Out of sight, out of mind, 
time with divisiveness. Get your head right. Betrayed and gone wrong. Hold on. Adams get they roll on like backgammon. The soul's lost. Raps Khalil Gibran. Puff. What do you rap about, Mr. Rapper Guy? You rap about like shorties wearing burkas and stuff like that? Like pimp my camel? Stuff like that? Now, what is this all about? What it's about is you shutting up and answering my questions, Mr. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. It's Jamal Abdul. Whatever. Country of origin? I'm Canadian. I know you're Canadian. What's your ethnicity? Ethnicity, Mr. Jabir Kabul. Kabul Sadiq. Hussein Akbar. My parents are from Iraq. I'm Iraqi. You're Iraqi? Bingo. <laughs> Bingo? So when were you last there? About 19 years ago. 19 years ago. Okay, so I guess when Gaddafi was still there. That's Libya. I know that. I was just testing your Arab knowledge. No, Yamania, you taste them already? Palestinians in the other room, bro. So, purpose of your uh, trip there, buddy? I'm going to New York to see a couple of friends and to do a festival. A couple of friends. I'm gonna need you to write down the names of all the Arabs that you know. Are you serious? Just cooperate with me. Okay, you know what? We're friends here. Tell me. Why are you really going to New York? Man, I already told you I'm going to New York. I've been here for three hours. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous? Yeah. Ridiculous? Ridiculous? Do you know what's ridiculous? Yo, you, man, what's the matter? Why don't you got no lenses in your frames, man? Dog, the reason why I took the lenses out of my frames is so when paparazzi starts taking pictures, the reflection of the flash won't get in the photo, B. You feel me? You know you're crazy, right? Yo, I gotta go call this promoter and explain this whole situation. I can't believe you missed the show over a t-shirt. Today I told you so. Yep, today we caught up. Tomorrow we'll slay for water and resources. A natural three forces, east, west, and middle. The beast has to kill you. The rest belittle and flash. There's no higher. Like athletes, medical report. Asked to come and speak on a Q and A uh, panel about uh, Arab hip hop and you know identity and uh, a discussion to kind of follow the the two short films that they're presenting today, which uh, were Fatwa and Stuck Between a Rock and a Hard Place, uh, films by the narcissist that were directed by and produced by his sister Hada Salman. Um, so unfortunately, uh, Yasin Salman, aka the narcissist, the star of the films today, uh, wasn't able to make it. Uh, because, uh, ironically, he was detained at the airport in Canada and questioned for four hours, uh, fingerprinted and interviewed, uh, and ultimately uh, had to miss his flight uh, as a result of that process, and he wasn't allowed into the United States. And so he missed this film festival. He missed uh, the screening of City of Life on Friday. Uh, he missed the performance we had lined up after that at Bus Boys and Poets, uh, and he missed today's screenings and Q&A, unfortunately, as a result of that. And uh, at the same time, you know, it it's just brings up the fact that this is a very real issue that our community deals with. You know, he, he made light of it, and, you know, he kind of uh, even made fun of it in some ways in his video, Fatwa, but it's a very serious issue. It's a very